Some have asked if humans can really die since man has an immortal soul. But does man really have an immortal soul? Let's read what Jesus said over in the book of Matthew in chapter 10. And it says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And the first thing we realize here is that this verse is not saying that the soul is immortal. What this verse is saying is God is able to destroy the soul. The Greek word for soul here is suki, which corresponds to the Hebrew word nephesh, meaning breathing creature. And it refers to our physical, temporary human life. And we can see this proven over in the book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7, where it says, God breathed into man the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And then over in the book of Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 4, and then again down in verse 20, it tells us that, that the soul can sin and that the soul can die. Therefore, it is not immortal. We know that man can kill the body, yet Jesus said man cannot kill the soul. Why? Why not? Even though that we can see that man is able to kill the body, the Apostle Paul tells us in Colossians 3 and verse 3 that a Christian's life is hid with Christ in God. In other words, what it is telling us is no man can stop God from resurrecting a Christian back to life. We therefore should understand that God has the power and the authority to kill the body and also to destroy our lives in the lake of fire. That's what Jesus said. That's what he's meaning when he tells us that we should fear God who is able to destroy both our life and body in the lake of fire. You see, when God resurrects the incorrigibly wicked and then cast them into the lake of fire. Revelation 20 and verse 14 tells us this is the second death. And what this is showing us is that God will have destroyed their life because they will never live again. Now let's go to the book of Malachi. Malachi chapter 4 and we will read here verse 1 and verse 3. Malachi chapter 4 and verse 1 and it says For behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud yea and all that do wickedly shall be stubble and the day that cometh shall burn them up saith the Lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. We see they're going to be totally destroyed. Verse 3 And you shall tread down the wicked for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. So as we can see, it is very plain. There is no biblical authority for the teaching that man has an immortal soul. I am Ben Faulkner for the Church of the Sovereign God.